but I was watching the boob tube and uh, Pastor Roger Presley World Harvest Church out of Ohio well known minister very well known uh, he travels all over the country all over the world he got some uh, feed the hungry thing where you know he's in Africa and some of the third world countries with this but this man has forgotten about separation of church and state instead of preaching he was telling people how to vote he was actually putting down our present government official I wonder why I remember him when Bush was in there and I never heard any of these bad things come out of his mouth and not saying he was saying you know bad bad things but he was sort of pointing that finger so Presley tonight I'm pointing the finger back at you you keep politics out of your religious facility and you save souls you're not a politician you're not there to tell people how to vote black folks you know when it's voting time every politician in the country start popping up in y'all's church standing up in y'all's pulpit with y'all's ministers gotta tell you something you're powerful that's one reason they come but the first amendment says that Nobody is supposed to put any pressure on a church for what they're doing. Nor is the church supposed to put any pressure on the political side of our government. Where did this all start? You got to remember now, back in the days, King James and all them folks back in those days, the church ruled. One of the most powerful people in the world right now. I think he's number five on the power list. It's the Pope. Number ten is Bill Gates. Number two. You're going to be surprised. He's the president of supposedly the most powerful country in the world. Barack Obama. Now you the most powerful country in the world and you only made number two. I'll be number one every time. But now the number one is the president of 1.4 plus billion people. President of China. He's the most powerful man in the world. So there's a little history for you. Just because you may cut be in the most powerful country, military wise, don't make you more powerful. See, Barack can't just go and say, Hey, I want the Mississippi River to divert twenty feet to the left right before it get to New Orleans. But the president of China can divert a river thirty miles if he wants to. He ain't got to do nothing but say it. Now that's power. That is power. Presley, stay out of politics. Stick to saving souls. If that's what you're doing. And by the way, after he finished telling people how to vote, the very next thing he did was ask for their money. You know how I feel about that. First thing you should do every time, and I believe in the Bible. I, I think the Bible has good rules of life. But instead of you taking 10%, dropping it in their basket, first put 20% in your own. Then when you put 10% in theirs, you need to learn how to live out of 70%. See, the problem, especially in our community, we live to the freaking hip. 
I make a hundred dollars, I'm gonna spend a hundred and one. Because my neighbor will loan me one. Now, if you make a hundred dollars, you shouldn't be spending no more than seventy. Because twenty of it should be somewhere for you for when these hard times hit. And if you're gonna give ten to your organization, that's cool too. But you make sure that you first give to yourself. You got to. Because the majority of these organizations, and people know who I'm talking about, especially if you're on Old National, especially if you're out in Lithonia, you know who I'm talking about. They got jets, Rolls Royces, mansions. I've yet to see them on Old National with all those homeless people even with a loaf of bread to say come over here and get you some bread but they always got that hand out ride the train the best selling authors hmm why are we like that why are we so small minded We're so gullible as a people that we can't open our own eyes. We can't see. (laughs) We think because somebody got a Hummer mean they rich. No, that means they got a hell of a car note. Hell of an insurance note. That's what that means. That means if that white man fired him from that job tomorrow, next month, that hummer gonna be gone. See, you gotta think. You gotta think. You gotta listen to smart people. People who been there, seen that, done that. People who understand some things. You take Clark Howard. Clark Howard understands some things. He understand, yeah, you can run down to the car lot, get a brand new car. The moment you drive that car off the lot, it's lost 25% of its value. You might as well wait till it's three years old, come off a lease, then buy it. At least you're breaking even, and he'll tell you that. You never buy a brand new car. I tell my customers in technology, you don't want to have the first of most of these softwares, most of these hardwares, telephones. Black folks, we are very good about going and getting the latest telephone. We don't care how much it costs. HTCs. I know some people got some HTCs two years ago already going to buy new ones paid four five hundred dollars for them two years ago why well because the one i bought two years ago won't do what the one doing today that's right because when it first come out it's in what we call beta we're giving it to you they're giving it to you they're going to sell it but it still is what we call a beta which means it's under experiment we're going to put it out there and we're going to see what the public think about it feel about it what they want it to do Now there's an app for some of everything. There's an app for some of everything now. You get an HTC phone, there's an app for that. That's all you hear on the commercials. Got an app for that. Three years ago, you didn't hear that. So I tell everybody, you know, wait a couple of years when a new technology come out. Let everybody who got money, let them experiment with it. Let them find out. You know, there are so many touchscreen phones that I see with cracked crystals. (laughs) We got bulletproof glass, and you telling me you can't make a phone that the glass don't crack. But I can pull up some glass and shoot it with an AK-47 and never penetrate it. Something wrong. So let the technologies and stuff 
you know let them let them catch up to you not you catch up to them having the latest and the greatest don't mean you the smartest you know I've been in technology long enough I've seen it I've had it and that's why I pass this on to you it's not about having the latest and the greatest it's about getting the most use out of what you have I mean you can have a Mercedes and you can have that Corolla long as it crank up and get you from A to B guess what the Mercedes ain't getting them no further than you going 